Hey guys, Sarah here, and today we are going to be talking about TextRap in Affinity Publisher. So TextRap is uh, essentially when you have an image and you have your text wrap around it in a certain way. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, I'll show you how to do that and show you all of the different ways that Affinity Publisher lets you do that. And I'm going to start by using uh, this image here and I'll take off, I'll go into preview mode. So right now there is no text wrapping associated with this image. So if I, you know, I can move it around and nothing really happens. Um, but if I want, for example, this image to be at the top, then obviously I have to readjust the whole paragraph here. And uh, I mean, that works, but maybe I don't want to do that. Or maybe I want to see what happens if it looks or how it looks over here. Um, so in order to just make, make lots of like really quick edits and, and see how it looks with the image placed all over the place, I'm going to apply some text wrap settings. So I'll go up into the text wrap button up here. And these are all the different options I have. So we can go with uh, right now we've got none. So there's no text wrapping whatsoever. We can go jump. Um, and if you notice what it'll actually do is just jump. So the text goes right on the top and the bottom of your image. So just if you move it to the side, it'll just be a big blank space here, which mostly isn't what we want to do because it looks a bit weird. But I mean, that works if we want to do it like that. Or we could go square. Um, now square is a bit more interesting because we're using a very wide image here. Um, but you can kind of see what it does. It'll create a square area around your image, which is cool and totally works. Um, and even if your image here was round, it would create a square area. So I can show you with a circle, circle, circle. Let's make our circle black and move our image out of the way here. And we can apply square. So it's got just like a square area around our circle here, which works too. So let's move that away and bring our fancy image back. And when you go tight, obviously it's not going to show much here. Um, basically it creates a tight wrap around the image that is specific to that image's um, dimensions. So we'll grab our circle. Where's my circle? There's my circle. And we'll click on tight, go away, other image. And you can see it really has like a tight wrap around the whole circle. And you can actually change that. Um, so you've got your distance to your left top, right and bottom. So you can make it so it has a bit more space on the left here or on the top and which is really, really nice. So you can totally adjust how much space around your image you have. Um, let's bring that back to point two because that looks a little ridiculous right now. And we'll go to, uh, well, the next one is inside. Now inside is a really interesting one that I haven't seen before, although maybe I'm just missing what, I, what I've been able to do in design. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to give it just a stroke. Give it a, let's go, what do we want? That's nice actually, let's go with that. And then click on my image and go inside and it actually goes inside which is crazy and I love that and that is awesome. <laughs> so if you wanna get your text to just go inside of a shape really quickly and easily, that is how you do it. That's not necessarily a, a great you know, design, design-wise, but honestly it works and it's really cool that you can do that. You can move it right off and get some really cool stuff and if you uh, basically you wanna have that but you don't wanna show that you have that, you just get rid of your stroke. So the text just fits magically. And you can do this with any shape. Um, where's my circle? Come back circle, I miss you. Uh, or at least any basic shape. You can't quite do that with an image. So, oh no, I've lost my circle again. Come back circle. There you are. I need to give it a stroke so I see where it is. <laughs> there we go, okay. Now where is my image? There's my image. So image, it's not going to work if you go inside. You're not all of a sudden going to have text. Unfortunately, going inside is just not going to work. So you do need to have a shape where you have, you know, something, some space inside where you can put it. Um, and so the, I'll go to the very, very last one. The last one is edge. And let's see. So let's move this one out of the way. There we go. So you see the difference between inside and edge, and it basically, I mean, it really shows you exactly what it's doing on each of the icons, which is awesome. So edge is uh, basically everywhere except for around your shape. So if we make this delightful shape a bit smaller, delightful shape, it's a circle, come on, delightful. I am really messing with readability right now. This is awful, awful, but also awesome. Look at that, so cool. 
So we can move that around and you'll notice how basically the text hits everywhere except for around the edges. And again, we can change this, which is really cool. And uh, you know, make it have a lot of space around the whole image. And if you do want to have it um, the same, you can lock the edges. So lock, is it lock edges, yeah, lock edges. So it's the same amount of space around the whole thing consistently. Although we should bring that back down because that's a little extreme. And obviously you can make it nothing too, which sort of defeats the whole point. But if you just really want to warp your text and uh, create some really weird looking stuff, then why not? You can do that. You have the power. Look at that. It's just right there. So if you want very specific rivers running through your design, you can do it like that. I'm going to bring that black back. There we go. And I'm going to bring this back up to 0.2. So I don't go insane. There we go. Lovely. So yeah, that is pretty much the basics of the text text wrap tool in Affinity Publisher. It's really awesome. I really love it. It's just so cool to be able to do this kind of stuff where you can just very quickly change your layout with your image. Where's the other one? And just, uh, yeah, play around with it and see, see what you can kind of make this layout look like without... Um, without really having to change too much and just edit things very quickly, so which is really great. Let's move that out of the way so I can just see where this image works best. Oh, look, there, it's perfect. Or bring it down to the bottom again or to the top. See, the opportunities for design are endless, endless. Or we could do that, which works really well, although that's now a really, really boring image. So we can go like that. There we go. Beautiful. And let's bring in our circle. And I think I have an image paste inside. So let's get rid of this one. And now you can see, let's move my image around. There we go. Let's go with that. Okay, beautiful. And we're gonna get rid of the stroke. So you can have just a really nice, circle image right inside your image or sorry you're inside your uh, your page layout here and you can play around with all the different settings and some of these you can wrap to both sides or the largest side over here so I think um, let's see the yeah okay so with some of them that'll work some of them this won't but with uh, when you use the square that'll work you can do both sides like that or the largest side which which I really like because honestly you don't you don't really want to have text if you have an image in the middle, you don't want text going on both sides. Your readability is just, it's awful when you do that. Like, look at that. Try to read that. Oh wait, you can't. It's nuts. I don't even know what, I know. It doesn't work. So larger side is for that option. That is great. Or just stick it off to the side like that. And it works beautifully. So yeah, that is how to use the text wrap. Let's make it right there. And I'm going to make it tight. And I like right there. That's beautiful. Or even up there. Perfect. Very good. Very good. All right. And that is that is the whole thing. So go into Affinity Publisher and play around with the text wrap tool. You can do so many very, very cool things. You can get really, really crazy and experimental. You can, oh, oh my gosh, you're, there's so many things you can do. So you can, let's see, you can make a giant, giant, okay, I keep saying giant, but it's not actually very giant giant letter D and then we can convert it to curve so the program sees it as an image get rid of that get rid of that and then make our giant letter D a text wrap <gasps> awesome or we can go inside is that gonna work no inside's not gonna work because it doesn't see the inside is having a shape oh it does well then well then that's please don't do that you can't read that keep your layouts logical but by all means, get creative with this tool because you can do some cool stuff. All right, that's, whew, okay. Yeah, we had to fix that. All right, so thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy using this tool and I hope it helps you in your layouts. It is a really awesome tool to use. So just go in and experiment and enjoy. All right, bye. <laughs>